Hello, I'm Dr. Sheila. I'm a consulting obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Raja Rajeshwarnagar, Bangalore. We have our own hospital. We are Nagarbavi Circle SK Hospital. Breach presentation is defined as the fetus is in longitudinal position with its buttocks or footlings in the lower segment of the uterus and the head in the towards the fundus. Incidence is about 2 to 3 percent. It is commonly seen in conditions like prematurity. I can say in extreme prematurity the fetus is most often is in the breech presentation because of the large size of the fetal head but later towards the term pregnancy it turns to cephalic presentation. So prematurity is one important cause for breech deliveries. Next comes the uterine anomalies or the CNS anomalies of the fetus like hydrocephalus head in conditions like placenta previa where it has occupied, occupied the lower segment, placenta has occupied the lower segment. Another important condition where we see the breech presentation is the multiple pregnancies. Now there are three types of breech presentations, extended breech, complete breech and footling presentation. Extended breech is the commonest presentation available and it is the most favorable presentation for vaginal delivery. Until 1959, Conducting breech delivery was the norm, but there was a very high incidence of perinatal morbidity and mortality. Later, it was considered with the advent of better anesthetic agents, antibiotics and surgical skills, it was made mandatory that all breech presentations should be delivered abdominally. But here, the incidence of C-section went up. Now, nowadays, we are again considering conducting vaginal delivery in cases of breech presentations to minimize the incidence of uh, caesarean sections. There are three types of vaginal deliveries in breech presentation. First one is spontaneous breech delivery. It is very rare, but it is common in extremely premature or pre-viable pre uh, babies. So it just comes out and you just have to support the baby. But the next one, which is very important and uh, we are considering is the assisted breech delivery. Here, the baby is allowed to spontaneously deliver up to the umbilicus and then we support the delivery of the shoulder and the after coming head and these needs an expertise. And next comes the breech extraction. Here, this particular procedure is done mainly for the second of the tin when it is presenting by breech. Here, the whole hand under in, in, in presence of uh, anesthesia the whole hand is inserted into the uterine cavity and it is extracted by breech. The whole baby is extracted one time. It is rarely done, should never be tried in singleton pregnancies because the baby's body comes out through the undilated cervix but the head gets entrapped and leads to the death many times. When we plan for vaginal delivery in breech presentation, selection of the case is very very important. So ideal gestational age for vaginal delivery in breech presentation is between 32 and 36 weeks of gestation. Before that and after 36 weeks of gestation, I, should, I think they should go for C-section. Extended breech is favorable for conducting vaginal delivery. Baby's weight should be average, definitely should not be more than 4000 and there should not be any disproportion or the pelvis should be adequate. And most important point is the obstetrician who conducts the vaginal delivery should be experienced in the art of conducting vaginal delivery in breech presentation. If not, then maybe C-section may be a better choice in such, such a hands. So the criteria which are important for delivering vaginally a breech case is selection of the patient, experienced obstetrician who is experienced in conducting vaginal delivery in breech presentation and careful counseling of the parent regarding the risks and benefits of both abdominal vaginal delivery is considered, then there should not be any hesitation in conducting vaginal delivery in breech presentation and this can definitely prevent the higher incidence of C-sections.